guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe that I'm already back today. Well, this video today, um, it's a little uh, bit about me and a lot of makeup. So first I want to explain to you guys about my channel. So the main thing on my channel is you're going to find a lot of makeup. You're going to find swatches, reviews, first impressions, um, some tutorials. Uh, one thing though, I'm actually not a professional makeup artist or cosmetologist. I just really, really, really love makeup and I love having fun with it and I love how it makes me feel wearing it. Um, one of the reasons I'm so obsessed with makeup is because about a year ago, I realized uh, that I kind of started sending my life in a direction that I didn't really love. You know, I realized I would put all this effort into helping my family look amazing and feel amazing, but when it came to myself, I wasn't really giving me the time that I deserved. So about a year ago, I kind of was like, okay, you need to start caring more about you and your appearance, and you need to be able to, like love yourself in every dimension. And it's not that makeup helps me love myself more or that I like need makeup in order to feel better about myself. It's actually just that like makeup is something I just love and I enjoy and it just kind of awakened something inside of me and like gave me like new life again. And so the reason I decided to start this YouTube channel was actually because, you know, a lot of my friends started seeing me like really like put that effort into my appearance and they started asking me, you know, like, what are you doing? How are you doing that? And so I decided to start this channel after like, you know, really feeling like I kind of had things down a little bit and I don't think I'm an expert by any means, dude. There's so many people better than me. There's always going to be people better than me. I just like to have fun and I want to share some of, my, some of my enthusiasm with you guys. Um, so, you know, if you want to see more pictures of me, go to Instagram, follow me at Just Like Drew or Snapchat at Just Like Drew, or please subscribe to this channel so we can like talk all of the time and have so much fun together. Seriously, you guys, I'm a little bit weird and I'm a little, I mean, I'm not like, okay, well, maybe eccentric. I don't know if that's the word for it, but I definitely like to have fun. I like making fun of myself and I want to have fun with you guys. So if I can do anything from this channel, it's to just help you feel your most fabulous. And that doesn't mean you need makeup to feel fabulous or that makeup's going to fill some big hole inside of you. It's just to help you have fun and enjoy yourself. I definitely, you know, have a big heart for like stay at home moms and helping them feel their most amazing and beautiful because you guys seriously, like you rock, you know, you're taking care of these kids all day. So why shouldn't you look amazing while doing it? Girl, get that contour going on while you're at the grocery store please a mic drop you'll be getting coupons like crazy all I'm gonna say okay guys so let's get to the video let's get started and I'll show you how to make this happen on your face all right okay guys so the first thing I do is I grab my first aid beauty ultra repair intense therapy moisturizer and I rub that all into my skin all over my face and basically just want to hydrate my skin before putting any you know makeup products on it next thing I do is I grab my boots botanical facial oil it's 100% organic and I squeeze a few drops of that onto my fingers and I just massage that into my skin pretty generously I have really dry skin in the winter so for me this works out well if you don't have dry skin I would not recommend using this because you'll probably start breaking out like crazy the next thing I get is my it cosmetics CC plus illumination um, SPF 50 uh, foundation I squeeze on the back of my hand I take my morphe m439 brush and I just start buffing that all over my face into my um, you know nose area everything else and I kind of just make sure that that's generously applied all over before I start adding anything else onto my skin okay so then after I have uh, finish buffing this in in every direction the next thing I'm going to actually grab is my it cosmetics bye bye under eye in neutral medium and I'm going to squirt a little bit of that onto my fingers and then I'm going to um, disperse it underneath each of my eyes and on any problem areas I find on my face then I'm going to take a concealer brush and I'm going to paint that basically underneath my eyes and I just want to fill in, you know, under my eyes. And I actually, for this look, I'm going to put some of it on top of my eyelid. I don't always do that, but with this, because I'm trying to do a really simple and clean look, I'm going to do that just so that my eyes match. So I'm going to look a little bit like a little raccoon for a second, but just bear with me. Okay, now once you feel like you have um, blended that in enough with your concealer brush, you're going to grab a Real Techniques. Miracle Complexion Sponge, and you're just going to blend that in all over your face. Um, I recommend wetting it before, and then once it's wet, use it to just uh, basically dab in a padding circular motion 
over all the places where you put concealer so that way you can just fill it in and it looks good. Um, and sometimes I go over that more than once just because I don't feel like it looks, you know, blended enough. Then I'm going to take my Laura Geller. It's the Baked Filter Finish um, Setting Powder Universal. And I'm going to put that under my under eyes. And with that, I'm using my Morphe M401 brush. Now, then I'm going to take a little bit more of that. I'm going to put it over the top of my eyes as well. After I do that, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD powder and I'm going to blend that into the other areas of my face that I did not use the Laura Geller setting powder. Now, after I've done that, I'm going to actually start um, with a little bit of contouring. And for that, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani um, blush palette. And I'm going to take my Morphe G3 brush and I'm going to take the color Lo-Fi and I'm going to blend a harsh line from starting from my hairline and blend that down towards my lips. And I'm going to do my jawline and then I'm going to do um, the tops of my like sides of my forehead and then like the top of my forehead as well. And I'm going to really blend and buff that into my skin. Now this is going to look a little crazy at first, but just bear with me because um, we're going to fix this and make it look a little more blended. Now the next thing I'm going to actually grab is my Morphe M164 brush and I'm going to use this to define my nose area. So I'm still using that lo-fi color and I'm basically going to put that across the sides of my nose as well as the bottom and blend that in. So then the next thing that I'm actually going to take is my Makeup Forever powder again and this time I'm going to grab my Morphe E55 brush and I'm going to push that into the powder and I'm going to make a straight line basically underneath where I put that harsh contour line on the sides of my face. And I, you really want to put a lot of the powder on. And this powder is, you know, um, white and basically you're going to want to put it on there and you're going to let it sit for about 30 seconds. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to take a dual fiber blender brush and I am going to buff my face like a mad woman. I'm just going to buff like crazy to take away any harshness and really blend in um, all of the contouring that we've done. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to the Gwen palette and I'm going to take the color Hush and I am going to use my Morphe M405 brush and I'm going to sweep that over um, the apples of my cheeks and over into you know where we put the lo-fi color. Then I'm going to go back with a dual fiber blender and I am going to blend like crazy again. Now, um, I'm also now buffing out that Makeup Forever powder that we put on underneath and just basically blending it all together so I have a really nice um, contour clean look. So after I've done that, I'm actually going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate Brow Definer and first I'm going to brush out my brows a little bit and then I'm going to actually start filling them in. This thing is amazing for filling in the brows. It's really, really nice. Um, for giving you a nice clean brow look, you can make it, you know, heavy or light. However you want to do your brows, you can basically go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well and really fill in those brows with um, this brow definer. And then sometimes, you know, I make mistakes all the time. And when I do, um, I like to take my finger and the stuff is so light and creamy that you can easily fix it literally with just your finger or a Q-tip and then get back right into defining. So once I feel like I've finished my brows, what I'm gonna grab next is my ColourPop I Heart This Super Shock Shadow. And I am gonna take that, I'm actually just gonna use my finger, and I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna put it um, just on the bottom part of my eyelid. Like I said, this is a really, really simple, clean look. I wanna make it easy for you guys so you don't have to try and feel like you have to do this really intense, you know, involved eye look. And that's the nice thing about ColourPop eyeshadows is that they are so easy to apply and put on. After I've done that, I'm going to take my Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara and I'm just going to fill in my lashes. I'm not going to put on false lashes today. Once again, we want this to be a really nice, simple, clean look for going out of the house, you know, going about your day. The main, um, you know, exciting thing we've done is basically the contouring. Now, I like to use this mascara, and basically I like to coat my lashes with any mascara about two or three times. Um, and the other nice thing about this mascara is because of the way the brush is designed, it really, really spreads out those lashes with little to no serious effort. And so it makes it really, really easy to use. The next thing I'm going to grab is my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. And then 
I'm going to grab my um, Morphe M405 brush and I'm going to push that into the powder and then I'm basically going to sweep that over the tops of my cheeks, put some on my nose and blend it a little bit up high into the T-zone, put some on my Cupid's bow, which is that area right above the lip, and a little bit on my chin area. And then after I've done that, I am going to spray my face with the First Aid Beauty Vitamin Hydrating Mist. Just to give me that extra dewy look and appeal and just give it a really nice, you know, um, appearance. Then to finish up, I'm going to take my ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Satin Lipstick in the color Frick and Frack. And I'm going to put that all over my lips because I am obsessed with this color. It is so pretty. Um, it's a nice, you know, terracotta color. And basically, once you fill that in, that is it. So, um... Yeah, all you need to do now is fix the hair, feel absolutely fabulous, and go about our day. All right, thanks, guys. So, if you liked what you saw today and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Just like Drew. Bye. See you later. Okay. Goodbye now. Okay. Bye. Okay. For real. Bye. Okay. You gotta go. You guys gotta go. I gotta. No, I got stuff to do. All right. Bye.